Hey guys, well, welcome back to the episode of Minecraft. Oh, this is Jason. Um, I'm I'm kind of right outside, like right over that hill there is where the 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 area I went down to looking for the blue ore. But I I was just walking around checking out this area here and stumbled on something kind of strange here. And I don't really know what to think of it. Like, what's going on with the snow here? Thought I'd show you guys that. Peek down in here, see if there's anything else interesting in this little area here. So there does not appear to be, but this little lake here on top of a mountain with some strange hovering snow. I've seen lots of weird things out this way. I don't know if it's the new new map generator or what. Mm. Like that that, <laughs> that drop right there was pretty awesome too. But right over there is where uh where that cave was at. I just thought I'd check out this this area before I headed back home. Um see if there's anything else of interest out this way. And I need to find more blue blue ore. I don't really want to just make a strip mine over here and go down and find blue ore. Oh man, look at all these trees. I don't, I don't, <laughs> oh man. So after I called them zebra trees, I got all these messages about how they're birch trees. And yes, I knew they were birch trees, guys. I just thought it was funny to call them zebra trees. Just like I know the blue ore is not something from Harry Potter. <laughs> but it does remind me of the werewolf from Harry Potter. So yeah, sorry no one got that reference. I guess you guys aren't the nerds you think you are. So. <laughs> I'm gonna gather this uh oh man there's a block up there I can't reach I guess it will stay there forever but yeah I'm gonna check out this area some I'm not gonna gather all this wood I, I don't know why I just gathered the, the wood I just did because I have no no plans for it oh, I did want to check something though it reminds me it doesn't turn into any different color uh planks does it what the hell's it at in my inventory oh there it is oh yeah planks are the same so that wood's pretty much worthless unless you want uh some zebra walls in your home. <laughs> I wonder why this recipe it does that too. Uh, oh, a pool of lava. Awesome. I've been I've been wanting to find one like this. It's like smoldering that grass right there. That's cool there. I'm probably about to turn back, so I know we get caught out here in the dark. I just wanted to check out this area a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to make this whole episode of me <laughs> looking at the scenery there. It doesn't look like there's anything out here that's super exciting other than zebra trees. And that's right, that's what the fuck I'm going to call them for this entire, this entire series. Those will always be zebra trees. And if you don't like it, then, uh, I don't know, call Peter or something. Okay, there's officially nothing out here of excitement, other than more zebra trees. There's lots of all these little ponds now. I guess I guess people were having trouble finding them, and so he made them more prevalent. I don't know. Uh, but I think I'm gonna head back home now. I want to try out a couple things. I want to test this dispenser and see. I had read that if you put it by, if you put some boats in it and put it by water, that it'll spit the water out. I mean, the, the water. It'll spit the boat out onto the water as if you had placed on the water. And I don't know if that's true or not. But if it is. Means I can change my dispenser, and uh, also since I haven't been home in a few days, who knows? I probably got a house full of lava or something like that. So I guess I'll go home and find out. But I'll be back with you guys once I get there. I might stop by Crisis's house because he's been busy at work too. Oh wait, what's this over here? <laughs> this is how it always starts. Yep, another little lake here. Strange. All right, anyways, I'll be back with you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I know I said I was going back home, but. <laughs> Instead of another cave, uh, and I said I was gonna limit this to three episodes, so this will be the last episode I'm back in this cave. But I wanted to—I remember I did want to definitely find uh, three. I mean, no, not three, nine blocks of the the blue ore, so that I can, uh, or nine pieces of blue ore, so that I, I can make a block. So I'm going to finish that goal prior to heading back home. And since I can't do that at home, pretty much have to do that here, um, since. The blue ore does not exist back at home. So, um, I came down to this cave and uh, heard some some zombies, and I figured, hey, that's the best way to start finding. Uh, stuff's in the wrong, wrong spot here. Oh no! Come back! Don't abandon me! Um, oh no! What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I figured. I figured cave is the most exciting way for me to. to to find the blue, the blue ore, and I don't, I don't know why people complain so much about 
caves. That's the best part of this game, so I'm not so sure how I feel about you people complaining about caves. Oh. <laughs> um but I might end up making a strip mine down here. If I if I go down here into the basically what I was gonna do, my plan was to go all the way down the bottom where I found that other blue ore at and then uh and then just start digging in, digging around until I find some more. But uh, I heard some heard some noise and so I thought I'd check it out. I uh there's probably not much to show you guys in this cave anyways because I've already I've already pretty much lit everything up, uh, for the most part. Aside from some dark spots that are hidden through a wall, uh, like this one I'm in right now, <laughs> I don't know why I just grabbed two pieces of that coal and moved on because <laughs> I wanted to. That's why. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update on where I was at, so I didn't just all of a sudden come back and have a bunch of blue war and like, where the hell did that come from? Um, so yeah, I'm making my way down here, and uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember where that spot was where stone turned into. Uh, into into dirt and diamond turned into or stone turned into diamond, all kinds of crazy shit happened down here. So I think here's some here's some water through there. Um but I think I'm low enough now to find the blue ore, so I think I'm just gonna start digging around into the walls and I might hit other parts of caves and stuff like that. And if if I do I'll show you guys that stuff. Um but I'll I'll be back to you guys later. Alright guys, just to update you, right here's where I found that blue, that first blue dye in this little hole here, and I've been making like trenches down uh, in in search of of more blue ore, and uh, started into this wall here, and heard some sounds, and found some diamond, and apparently there's a zombie in there, so I wanted to uh, update you guys on the murder that zombie just committed. So I caught you, zombie. Don't be killing your lover in here. Oh, I can't get in here. I don't know that I want to be in here with this fucking water. Um, but yeah, just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. I don't know how rare this uh, this blue war is, but so far it seems really rare. Because uh, I have not found any more. I mean, I know I've only made like six trenches into the into the walls here, but I don't know. If it's if it's as rare as like diamond, which is what Mad Cow was just saying, people are saying, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's just a damn die. Unless it's gonna have like some kind of later implications. <laughs> I don't know how rare a die that has no other purpose should be, or maybe I, maybe I just should not care how rare it is and just not worry about dying shit. Um, I don't know why I'm going up here. I'm going too high for the blue ore, but I was just curious what was up here. So. <laughs> I'm gonna go right back down as soon as I get here and light this up. But I just wanted to update you guys. I'll, I'll be back with you guys later. Hey guys, another little quick update here. Right here's where I found this diamond at, and started digging this way because I heard zombies, and I found another piece of blue ore, or another at least two pieces. Oh, three, uh, four pieces. Yeah, so four pieces. Oh, no, more right there. It's a nice little vein we got going on here. Six, oh fuck, seven pieces. Awesome. Um, and I already had well, seven pieces, right? Yeah. And I already had enough up there. Of course, now I have to know where these zombies are at. <laughs> I'll find out where these zombies are at and I'll let you guys know. I'll report back. Whoa. <laughs> now there's some death. It's a little bit further away. Yeah, they're through here probably. Um, anyways. I'm gonna pause this and I'll get back with you guys. Hey guys, welcome back. And I think I've I, I just broke through this little piece right here. I put that back because uh, it was dangerous. Um, there's water in there. Yeah, there still is. Ugh. Trying to find some way up in there. Um, but this sounds like a lot of shit up in there. Listen, all the stuff in there. There's like so many zombies too. Whoa. Hmm. Man, the stuff in there. There we go. That's what I wanted. Looks like it's a lake, an underwater lake.
See, most of them are above me. I'm gonna find another way up here. <laughs> Can't see. Perfect. Whoa, not, not not completely perfect there. <laughs> Put a workbench in here. Uh, down here. Because I need some bread. Oh, uh, that was unexpected. I wonder if there's a zombie spawner up there. I've never said anything like that before, so. If I'm wrong, it'll be my first time. There's some wheat, right? You know one of my favorite things on YouTube is uh is you guys. No, but seriously, um is is uh like on YouTube it, it lets you know whenever people comment on any of your videos. And so uh on older videos people will comment like, Hey man, you should do this it's like, dude, that was season one. That was like a long ass time ago. <laughs> like one guy was telling uh posted earlier today, um that uh that I need to I need to start um, and you start carrying around weed on me. Oh man, oh man, look at that shit in there. That's a room full of shit. Damn it. Man, I have to get more bread. <laughs> I'll pause it while I make more bread. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. <laughs> Man, there's so much stuff in that room. Hmm. Can I stab him from here? Oh, good, I got him. Huh. I know there are creepers in there. In the masses. I can't get that creeper. Oh, hold up, up on me. Oh, no. He's opened that room wide. Oh. Right up, wide open, something, words. Hmm. I think I'd like some more bread again. <laughs> Block that up. I'll be right back. <laughs> Pause again. I'll make some bread. All right, here we go again. Oh, uh, I'm kind of wishing I had my armor now. Um, <laughs> kind of missing it. Sitting back at that chest, doing nothing, and nobody any good. That was dangerous. I bet the other zombies are in that water. But I'm more interested in the spider. I keep hearing. Oh no, get off me! Mm. <laughs> this game's a lot more dangerous whenever you don't have any armor on. I'm kind of liking that though. No, I mean, I, I don't really need a challenge. <laughs> uh, I created enough on my own. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know, the sense of fear that I, I haven't haven't felt in a long time. I mean, I've still died plenty of times wearing armor. But, uh, <laughs> man, that season one sense of fear that I felt when I was going through that first cave. And, oh, man, whenever, like, this skeletons would come out and I'd be jumping around and getting text messages. Uh... <laughs> That's a new sound you guys haven't heard yet. Uh, is uh, the text message? Uh, I want to. <laughs> I had to pause there for a second and read my text message. Just curious what what it what it said. Um, and you know what? I still want to fix my vast <laughs> virus database to not say that it's been updated, but. Uh, that only happens once a day, and it's not the right time of day for that, so... <laughs> you guys won't get to hear that tonight. 
and I don't know why I've been getting so many new subscribers these last this last week. But hey, if you're new to the to the new to this video series, welcome. And uh, I just like to say that I'm really good at this game, and I appreciate you guys watching because uh, you're gonna see see skill at its best. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't know where I've been getting new viewers at from here recently. But I'm not complaining by any stretch of the imagination. The more the merrier. I mean, I'm not an attention whore. I mean, I might be, but I don't think I am. What the fuck am I doing? Alright, I want that there. I want you here. And I want to keep... There. There we go. Uh, but, uh, whenever you're making some... Oh, man, that block right there was an asshole. Whenever you're making something like this right here, you don't feel like you're making it for no point whatsoever. Um, so while, while I don't need a hundred fucking million people to watch every video I upload and just tell me how amazing I am and how they've I've changed their lives <laughs> um, it is nice to know that someone is watching the videos uh, just because I mean otherwise what the fuck's the point of me even making them I mean I'd, I'd still play this game but I wouldn't spend a few hours uh, rendering videos and stuff like that um, if, uh, if, if no one was watching or giving a shit about the videos so and Matt Cow saying he wants to come check out a new cave um, with, the, with the new spawn rules or uh, map generation rules. So you guys might have to have another cave here in the future. And you know, I was just talking to him about that a few months ago while I was doing my my shaft. <laughs> uh, no homo. Um, and I was like, you know, people keep complaining about uh, me spending time in caves, and I don't understand why because it's such a big part of this game um, I mean I can understand seeing something getting monotonous where you're seeing the same thing every single time you watch something I mean still I'd like to think my commentary is so fucking amazing that you, you can't go a day without hearing my views and opinions on the world um, <laughs> but uh, so I can understand monotony but it's also every with every cave being I think this is something that I see a lot of now I just totally went from one <laughs> one sentence to the next but it, 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 I've noticed this in, the, in this cave maybe it's just this cave but these single little shafts like this um, I've been noticing a lot of that in this cave uh, so I don't know if it's something new with the map generator or it just happens to be this cave and man I just jumped in the hole but uh, yeah I can understand you guys getting tired of the same thing over and over again um, but uh, if you're going to watch my series you're going to probably see a lot of caves because that's my favorite thing to do in this game is go and look and see basically what's randomly been generated down under the earth and how many spawners I can find. Really, my favorite thing is to find spawners, but uh, I have I have the most fun finding them inside of caves. So, yeah, that's my little spew about that. Um, the reason why this uh the my first HD video wasn't 1080p is because <laughs> uh I went to render it and I hit. 500 gigs and uh, ran out of hard drive space, <laughs> so uh, I guess 1080p wasn't going to happen. And someone asked me why I don't just encode in Sony Vegas whenever I render it, and the reason why is because I don't have a new version of Sony Vegas. And I, I was looking at that earlier today about buying a new version, or uh, yes, buying a new version. <laughs> um, the version I Right now I'm using version version five, which was legitimately purchased, um, and I could get an upgrade, but it's still ridiculously expensive. Um, so I don't know. Uh, if, but if I get like version ten, I can encode it um, while I uh, while I render. Oh no! Oh. oh. Um. So I'm gonna look into uh, to changing my version, and maybe then I can go to 1080p. Which, honestly, I don't notice any fucking difference. I mean, this game is just a bunch of blocks, so the pixel pixel ratio is not going to really go anywhere. But I've noticed, so uh, <laughs> you're going to find out the reason why I'm, I the reason why I started actually doing it is I've noticed that YouTube rates those videos higher as far as um, videos that it it's trying to to share with other people, um, the videos that are uh, HD. So if I make my videos HD. YouTube's more likely to say, hey guy who's never seen this video, why don't you watch this? Um, so that's the reason why I've switched to 1080p. But, alright, I've ran in long enough here. I'm going to figure my way back out of here. It gets down this way. Uh, yeah. Um, and 
I'm gonna go back up to the top where I stuck my original um, Remus Lupin in a chest. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> the the other thing it reminds me of it's not just Harry Potter. It's also uh, uh, Lupus <laughs> from House. I mean, not that the show House created Lupus, but they reference it a lot. So. Anyways, uh, that's the other thing that this fucking ore reminds me of, and I know that the, uh, the, this is an actual name for an actual ore in the real world, and you guys sound just like my fucking wife explaining to me how charcoal's made. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll be back in a little while. Alright guys, I've gathered I've gathered my stuff here, my four diamonds and my, my lupus, <laughs> and uh, I'm heading back home. Uh, again, I'm not going to record my, 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 my adventure to and fro, but, uh, fro, oh man, that reminds me, <laughs> today me and my wife stopped at, uh, there's this, there's a new grocery store in town, uh, and it's kind of, it's kind of off in the middle of nowhere, and I didn't know what kind of grocery store it was, it was just like, Big Apple World Market, and I was like, I wonder what they sell, what if it's like, like Whole Foods or whatever, uh, and, uh, or maybe like fresh produce, stuff like that, so I was like, you know, let's stop there and check it out and see what they got. Um, so you, might, you guys might get to see my adventure home while I tell you my story. Um, so yeah, we stop there and we go in, and this place was fucking scary. It was like the ghetto supermarket or something. I've never seen anything like this. It was like their uh, their meats and stuff. Like they had a, they they had this section of frozen food, quote unquote, frozen meats and stuff like that, and. Um, I'm pretty sure that the cooler wasn't even on. Like, they didn't feel like anything was cooling this 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 uh, this meat down. And uh, I wonder what's down in there. I'll find that out. I'll find out some other time. Uh, and I was like, man, this this doesn't seem like <laughs> this seems kind of dangerous. And like the uh, oh hey look a pumpkin. I'll get that shit. Uh, <laughs> their shopping carts were like stolen from Food Lion or something. Uh, which Food Lion's an East Coast uh, grocery store for those of you that live somewhere else. Um, single pumpkin. Uh, their uh, their aisle signs. Oh man, I'm full. Their aisle signs were stolen from Winn Dixie. Um, I mean, it was just crazy. And one third of the store sold weave. Like there was like four aisles of just weave. And I was like, man, who needs that much weave? <laughs> So uh, yeah, I had to tell you that story. It was it, 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 it was it was the most strange experience I've had in a grocery store. I guess it was a grocery store. It <laughs> it advertised itself as a grocery store, but we didn't buy anything there. But we did check it out. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm about I'm about to head back to the house here, uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna build this block of of lupus, and I'm going to infect the server with it. Um, I'm probably gonna put it in sponge to show it off. Where no one can take it. Oh, look, another cave. Oh, the skeleton in it. Oh, look, multiple skeletons. Oh, orange is a spawner. All right, we're gonna find out if it's a spawner real quick. You know me. Oh, look, three skeletons in a row. Now this is this is this is intriguing. And they were just down here in a hole, butt fucking. This was like Osama bin Laden's hole here. I found him, guys. <laughs> Call the Secret Service. <laughs> All right, anyways. I'm gonna head home and uh, uh, I'll be back to you guys so you can see what this block looks like. Hello, guys, welcome back. I made it home to the uh, to the spawn location. I stopped by Christ's house and got my uh, my axe back too. Um, Mad Cow told me he's connected this in now. I haven't come and checked it out yet. Uh, doesn't look bad. I like this. It's cool. Um. I don't know what we're going to do as far as, I had this, you know, grand design for what I wanted this minecart station to be, and it looks like boosters are infinite, um, I guess he didn't come back and do this, we talked about putting half blocks and he didn't know about the raised up water, and so I guess he changed his mind. Anyways, uh, what was I just saying? Oh yeah, I had this grand design for, uh, um, tracks that are constantly running, a big station with a uh, hopper and all this stuff. And uh, what I found is that it was causing lag, um, all these tr uh, minecarts that were constantly running. It looks like the way he fixed the chunks loading um, whenever you're not on a minecart is uh, make the minecart load the chunks when it's in motion. 
Okay, now see, I'm not impressed by this block right it, as it is in the crafting window. I hope when I put it on the ground, it looks fucking amazing or something. Because right now, this doesn't look very impressive. Let's stick it right here. It kind of looks like a block of water that just got froze or something. Not froze, but stuck in a still state. I need to put a sign on it. Uh, too much junk in my inventory. I need to get rid of some of this mess. Uh, but, uh, so anyways, as far as the minecart thing goes, I don't think we're going to have anything amazing like I wanted to have because of the fact that I don't want to lag the server down just for the fact that we could have, uh, um, an amazing uh, minecart track. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, that's that. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Let me finish this episode here. I just heard an arrow. Did you guys hear an arrow? Oh, I just felt an arrow. What the hell? Where the hell did he come from? Motherfucker. I stabbed you in the face. Um, anyways. Uh, I guess I missed and hit there. That's kind of strange. Uh, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, please continue to rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next episode.